Do mini splits require maintenance? Yes. What maintenance? I'm going to show you. Mini split condensate pump problems? How do you know when the condensate pump's bad? I'm going to show you. Drain options. What options do I have for installing the drain for my mini split? I'm going to show you that as well. Today we're going to learn all about mini split maintenance, condensate pump problems, and drain options. I hope you're ready to learn something about mini split. Before we start today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell ding so you know what I'm doing. If you want help with your project, you want tech support, you want one-on-one -on -one consultation, check out my membership levels. Click that join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments, say I joined. That'll lead to my email, then to my phone number. And if you are a level five member, that'll lead to you being Taddy's client and you can have one-on-one -on -one consultation with yours truly. You're watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad, let's get started. Mini split maintenance is super important and you need to make sure that you're having an annual service, a tune-up done on your mini split every year to make sure that it's working efficiently. Part of that maintenance should include cleaning this outdoor unit and also putting a set of gauges on here to make sure that the charge is good. Cleaning this indoor coil should be part of that maintenance and also cleaning the blower wheel that's in here if the blower wheel needs to be cleaned. You can clean it with a mini split bib kit, which I'll put the link in the description. That's a great way to clean wall mount air handlers like this. Or you could just use a five gallon bucket and you could use a pump sprayer, like a five gallon pump sprayer with some warm water. You can clean that blower wheel up really nicely. The drain hose for this unit is right here behind me. Cleaning your drain should be part of that maintenance as well. And if you do not clean out your drain annually, then the water will get backed up inside of the pan and then the water will pour down the wall. So you do not want water pouring down your wall. And that's why you need to make sure that you have annual maintenance. Now, let me talk about the maintenance that the homeowner can do. As a homeowner, it's your responsibility to check your filters every two weeks to three months to make sure that they're not dirty. If they're dirty, that means that the unit's not going to get enough air to pull through that coil and then your unit's not going to be working efficiently. So you take the washable permanent filter out of the unit, it's really easy, and then you wash it and you put it back in. Now one other thing that you can do as a homeowner is you can get a shop vac a wet dry shop vac like that right there and then you can plug it in and this is your hose for your drain for this wall mount air handler you can take and you can put your vacuum on the end of this hose and you can turn the vacuum on and then suck out the drain once a year that way you make sure that that maintenance is done and that you don't have any water pouring down your wall now some of these drains go into condensate pumps and I'm going to show you the maintenance with a condensate pump. And then also some of these drains actually terminate outside. If you have that option, that's the best option because gravity drain is the best. Then you don't have an accessory like a pump with a reservoir and a screen. I'm going to show you the maintenance with that uh, pump now. So this mini split wall mount air handler has a condensate pump. And the condensate pump has a reservoir, right? And this reservoir requires maintenance. Now the drain goes into this reservoir here. And whenever this float lifts up, like that right there, it signals the pump. It energizes the pump, and then the pump pulls the water through this reservoir and up through a tube into the pump, and then that tube from the pump goes outside. This little reservoir has to have maintenance, and that maintenance needs to be at least every six months. And let me show you the maintenance. You just pop off the top. All right, this just pops off. There's the float. And then there's a screen. You see that screen there? You wash it, you put it back in there. You see that prevents any gunk from being pulled up into the pump. And if it's not maintenance, then it'll block the water from being pulled through there to the pump. That pump will run 24 seven and it'll burn the pump up. And that's what's happened with this condensate pump. Some of these screens may come out. This screen does not come out. So you just take the reservoir, you bring it to the sink, you wash it out, and then you put it back in. Now, let's talk about how to know if your condensate pump is bad for a mini split. Sometimes you don't know what you're getting into until it's too late, okay? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I am gonna get in this hole here, and we gonna get to this pump. Oh, it's dark, let me turn on the light, come on now. There you go. You see that pump right there? Woo, that's not gonna be good. Here we go. Uh, uh. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, you can't do it. All right, that's it. That's all you're gonna get. 
Now, see if you can reach it. Okay, you can do it. All right. Come here. Whoopsies. Man, I can't get in there. I'm gonna have to knock that thing off the wall or something. What is that coming out of the pump? What is that? I don't know what that is. We gonna figure it out. All right, so we're up above the ceiling. There's the little bitty pump over there. Just about out of my reach and we're gonna get rid of that. I don't even know if I can get to it. Oh, we made it. Oh. Oh. How you doing? We made it. Come here. All right, get off there, buddy. All right, now. We got a drain tube that we've tied on. Because we're going to have to... We can't use this drain tube. We're going to get us a new drain tube. Pull our new drain hose up. We're not going to use this quarter inch drain hose anymore. We're going to use this 3H drain hose. So, pull plenty of this up. Beautiful. All right, let's get out of here. Oh man, that's so nice. This is a little pump that was above the indoor wall mount air handler. These little mini split condensate pumps are an accessory that you can get to use for your drain. They are an extra accessory and they require more maintenance. They also make a loud noise whenever the pump kicks on and sometimes that's just not pleasing for the customer. So anytime you can use a gravity drain, do a gravity drain, you can use this little condensate pump here or you can use a regular condensate pump, which I'm gonna show you. I just removed the mini condensate pump and I installed a regular condensate pump. I'm gonna show you what it is, how I installed it, and talk about this drain option. I do not usually go with this option, but this was the best drain option for this application. I'm gonna to talk to you about why, but first I'm gonna to talk to you about installing this type of pump. This is a 115 volt pump. This is a 115 volt receptacle that powers the pump. This is the 3 8 drain tube, and this is what the water is pumped through. You wanna make sure that you use the same size drain hose as your connection is, okay? There was a quarter inch hose, which I pulled out and I installed this 3 8 hose because that's what size you need for this drain pump. Now the mini condensate pump uses a smaller hose and it's quarter inch. This is a safety switch and anytime you install a pump on a mini split, you need to make sure that you wire in the safety switch. Why? Because if this pump ever fails, instead of flooding the floor, it will cut the unit off. So the homeowner will know there's a problem, then a professional will be called out, they'll find that, hey, you know what, this circuit's open and this pump is not turning on and we have a problem. So we probably need a new condensate pump if that's the problem. You still need to make sure that you do your maintenance. That means taking this hose out and using your vacuum, putting it on the end of, ho end of the hose and turning the vacuum on and cleaning out that drain hose so you don't have water pour down the wall. Let me talk about why this was the best option and why we are using this as our drain option for this application. Okay, so let's go over the three options and I'm gonna to talk to you about why this was the best. So the first option is we have a drain and we have gravity. So that means we just gravity drain it outside, okay? We have pipe that comes from that drain down through the floor and then out to the outdoor unit usually. Now this is on an interior wall, okay? So we cannot install a gravity drain. Actually, you can install a gravity drain, but you got to make sure that the wall that you're trying to install a drain in, that you go underneath and you look what's underneath that wall so that you can actually, once you open up the sheetrock, you can drill through the floor. And for this one, it would have have to been on the outside of the wall, and that's not something that would have looked good. But I'm going to show you a job where I did install a gravity drain, and I was able to drill through the floor and run that PVC pipe down. Take a look. 
Taking out a condensate pump on this one and running a gravity drain inside the wall. I've had to rip out some sheetrock. Let me show you the tools I'm using and the materials I'm using, and then I'll show you this pipe installed when I'm done with this one. Here's the old condensate pump. This is the pump, Aspen pump, and the reservoir. I'm taking it out, and I'm going to be installing this PVC fitting here, and it's gonna go inside some PVC. Let me show you real quick. The PVC is already in the wall and I'm gonna clamp it right here, and then I'm gonna run my 5 8 drain tubing from this right here. This is the outlet. This is the drain outlet from the pan. I'm gonna attach my 5 8 drain tube to that tube right there, and then I'm gonna have this bar fitting. This is a 3 quarter by 5 8 uh, barb fitting and this is going to go into this female slip by thread fitting okay so it's a slip by thread three quarter by three quarter okay and that's going to attach right onto my pvc had to rip out some sheetrock no big deal now i'm able to have a gravity drain so that we don't have any more problems from this mini split having drain issues this is the best way sometimes you got to rip out some sheetrock it's okay just do it and get it over with Drain tube is now secured. I've got some three quarter inch one hole clamps and then it goes down into the fitting. And then this of course is glued. This fitting is glued right here. And then I've got another clamp down here. This is the way to make sure you don't have to have a condensate pump problem a year later. So this condensate pump I think was only one year old. So I gave the customer the option just to rip out the sheetrock and Run a gravity drain. It works. And this is an option if you want to do this. Now, many people might not want to tear up their sheetrock and have it redone. But to me, it's just some manual labor and just a little bit of time. And you can make this look brand new. Got the unit back up and running. And just got to repair the wall. If you ever need to clean the drain, you just take these two screws out, pop this cover off, and then get a shot back. And then attach that shot back to that fitting that comes from your evaporator pan. You clean it out once a year, you're good to go. Instead of this little bitty tube, that right there is where the new drain comes out. Look at that. Look at that, beautiful. And we don't wanna install the drain on the outside of the wall because aesthetically that's not gonna look good. Plus, we'd have to drill a hole through the floor and then on the outside of the house, you would see that pipe all the way to the unit. That's the first option and the best option but aesthetically, it would not look good. The second option was the mini split condensate pump, but there's really no access to get up to the pump part, and there's not enough room to put it behind the unit, and they have to pay for this pump every three or four years because the pumps don't last that long, and it's expensive, and it's noisy, and we don't want to go with this option. So the, the third and the only other option I can think of, which if you've got a better option out there, please let me know, is this regular condensate pump on the wall, okay? And this works perfect. It's working right now. It's serving the purpose, and you can get to it. So it's not as aesthetically pleasing as it would be a drain inside the wall and then down and out, but that's not an option. That would be expensive. You'd have to tear out the sheetrock and then do some sheetrock work so we're going to avoid that we're going to do this one thing i want to tell you is that when you screw this pump onto the wall you need to make sure that you use a stud finder or you just find the studs and make sure that you use some good screws i use some two inch screws which i'll show you in just a second this is the split air conditioning system i was talking about that normally would have a pump installed on it for the drain this right here is the drain pipe and it's gravity but sometimes you have a condensate pump for these types of units. These are the two inch, quarter inch screws that I use. You got one screw on each side. Make sure that you have a hose clamp, okay? Because if you don't have a hose clamp, then it may leak right here and you do not want that. You gotta make sure you have a hose clamp. So glad that I've got these knockouts here. I just notched this out and I was able to take the drain right out of the bottom of the unit. You've got knockouts on the bottom and on each side, okay? So you got a few options right there. Always test the pump to make sure it works. Beautiful.
hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you learned something, let me know what it was down in the comments. If you have a question, questions become content, and I look at all your questions. So thank you so much. Really appreciate you watching. If you do not have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and let me know where you're from. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.